You clicked on this video to learn how to build a pull-up bar and a dip bar. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen right now so you can get an idea of what we're gonna do. So let's go. It's also a video on how to grind your forearms. This is how you lie in posts up. King of the castle, king of the castle. <laughs> how do I look? Sexy. Thanks babe. Cameraman, boyfriend, Peter. We got two 16 foot four by fours, and we got two 12 foot four by fours. And then we have two sections of five foot, inch and five eighths full weight pipe. These four by fours are pressure treated. And a lot of people wonder, what does it mean when wood is pressure treated? Uh, I was waiting for you to tell us what pressure treated wood was and it didn't happen. This is what we're gonna do. 12 foot four by fours are gonna go straight in the ground, okay? You don't need to cut them. 16 foot four by fours, we're gonna cut in half. Before we cut them in half, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do it a foot off the top, and then you wanna get the center, so go here, and usually, so four by fours aren't actually four inch by four inch, because it's just how it is. This one is roughly three and a half. I'm gonna find the center, doesn't have to be exact. Go like halfway through, or almost two thirds of the way through. Got the gist of that, just do that four more times. Do. You don't have to use a bandsaw. This is just use a hacksaw, chainsaw, butter knife. These are the 16 footers, so make a mark at eight feet. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Well, in times of uncertainty, I blame COVID. Woo! You don't want to push, you just want to let it go. Next thing we're going to do. 66, so we want to cut at 33, right about there. These are going to be the dip bars. These go into the eight foot posts. This long one is going to be for the pull up bar. It's time for the fun part. I'm going to try and get like around three feet deep. All right, let's go. How did you do that much? We're pretty close. Peter, you can take a look at that. It's a 12 footer. Yep, straight at my feet. Yep, just like that. Oh, I'd say you do. Okay, yeah, add water as you put it in. You don't need to. It absorbs the salt. So we got this post square. We got the string going. We just dig on this hole and in line with the string, like that. So a little bit over the string, so that there's room for the four by four to go in there. So let's do it, baby. I was in the there. Check the level. Tamp the cement. Same process on the previous hole as on the previous hole. So here's the string. Goes to that string bar over there. Straight line. You want the post right up against the string there. Boom. Straight across there. Boom. So now we're gonna build the dip bar. Take the two pipes that you cut. I think these are these are just about three feet long. So basically, this, this is what we're doing. Somewhere in this area. Really for this, there's no set height you have to do it at. It's just about where you feel comfortable doing the exercise. So, right there, seems all right. So just mark it, inch and five eighths, so roughly the center of that. And find the center of that, and bang on it, might. And now we drill. So what I'm gonna do is put this here. It's like kind of across the width of my body, so roughly 20 inches. Right there is the center of your hole. So 45 and a half. Now from the top of that, we're gonna be at 45 and a half and we're three feet deep, 81 and a half. Throw it in. This is where you get your level now. Does it look good? Does it look level? To the right, get more on the right. So while you're tamping, always check that you're on the string and that it's level. Since we're not using concrete, you just want to tamp it a lot. So you want to take your string and wrap it around so that you can make sure you're going to be dead in line with this.
what you should do on every pipe, which I didn't do before, because I'm an idiot. Measure how far in it is, two and a quarter inches, and you go on your pipe and measure that same distance and make a mark there. That way you know how far in the pipe is into the hole. You leave the string there and make sure that you stay on it. It's perfect. For the last hole, same exact thing. We're just gonna measure and cut our post, which is right over there. All right, there you go. Pull up bar, dip bar. And it only took us about six and a half months. Okay, so finishing touches. Since this is, these are a little bit in the way, if you're coming in here, take the bandsaw and just cut it. So, you don't need to do this, but I'm gonna do it for security. Through there and there. Through the 4x4, through the pipe, makes it very secure. So here it is in all its glory. Pull up bar, dip bars. All finished. I think it looks pretty good. It's not really all about the looks, it's more about the functionality. So and speaking of functionality. Just cut that out. Okay.